In 2022 and 2023, a bug in the Trust Wallet browser extension broke the randomness in the random numbers that they were generating to create your wallet. It used something called Mersane Twister, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, which is basically a fancy random number generator, but it only used 32 bits of entropy, which gave about 4 billion possibilities of the wallet that could be generated. And for crypto, that is not very secure. You want at least 128 bits of entropy, but if you can get up to 256, that's even better. And so the result was that attackers could use computers to brute force the seed phrases from those addresses created by the 32 bits of entropy. And reported losses were about $170,000 before a fix was finally rolled out. So this was fixed a long time ago. It's not a current problem anymore, but it illustrates an important point, which is that if your wallet was created with low amounts of entropy, it's not safe. And what's extra confusing for people is they might think, oh, well, if I generate a low entropy seed phrase, maybe it won't create 12 words, but that's actually not true. A low entropy seed phrase, just because it's low entropy, it doesn't mean that when it does the conversion to actual words in a seed phrase, it's not like it's gonna only spit out four words. It will still spit out 12 words. It's just that behind the scenes, that number is not very big and it's super guessable. So it's important to use cryptographically secure random number generators and never general purpose random number generators like the one that was used in this example. So a lot of people think like, oh, a 24 word seed phrase is more secure than a 12 word seed phrase. And it's like, well, if the 24 word seed phrase was generated with no entropy or 32 bits and the 12 word seed phrase was generated with 128 bits, then the 12 word seed phrase is actually way more secure than the 24 word seed phrase. So bad randomness isn't about the number of words. The words are just there to help you and I understand the number. It's about how big and how complicated that original number is. Luckily, there are lots of ways to solve problems like this, like using a passphrase and setting up a multi-sig, and then also just using wallets that are trusted or open source. And if you're really paranoid, you can go and roll your own dice and create your own entropy. Just make sure that you roll enough dice. If you roll 50 dice, that isn't enough. If you roll 100, that is enough. And really, even if you roll 99, that's not enough. Every additional bit of entropy provides a lot more security.